Shahzad Punawala, am I right in saying that you are putting all your eggs in Prime Minister Modi's basket? In all these states, you've decided we've got to go with our Brahmastra. The state leaders, as we saw in Karnataka, could not pull up their, uh, you know, could not uh, pull up the weight that they needed to pull up, and therefore all up, up to Prime Minister Modi. It didn't work in Karnataka, it didn't work in Himachal, it worked in Gujarat. Will it work here? Uh, look, Rajdeep, when you have a charismatic leader and somebody who has delivered to the country 13 and a half crore people out of poverty, 80 crore people get rations, the, perhaps the biggest social welfare program known on the universe or in the planet, the fact is that the economy has gone from 10th position to 5th and now going to 3rd, a successful G20, and we have also landed on the south side of the moon. Why wouldn't we want to also highlight the achievements of the leadership of Prime Minister Modi? Because it didn't work in with Karnataka. The double do engine model, sir, did not work. With due regard, sir, the double engine model didn't work in Karnataka and Himachal. You're putting all your eggs in the Prime Minister's basket, but he's not able to really lift a leadership of the state which suffers from anti incumbency or fatigue or both. Rajdeep, look, you know, we should not have a selective view of facts. If you have to take a timeline, then take the six elections that were done after the Bharat Jodo Yatra. BJP won four, we mm -hmm. lost two, which was Karnataka and Himachal. So let's have a view of facts which are not selective or cherry picking as per our convenience. For instance, you just said that the BJP has not declared its sitting chief minister. And then Sanjay ji told you that Rajasthan too, they have not declared him officially as the CM candidate or the CM face. In fact, Mr. K.C. Venugopal went ahead and said that we will not have a face in this election. We will fight it under collective leadership. Mm -hmm. So how come there are different standards being applied? Secondly, as far as the leadership is concerned, we are very clear that we have a range of leaders. Who are these MPs and ministers? Are they from uh, Rome? Are they from uh, Europe? They are very well elected from Madhya Pradesh. So aren't those leaders also people who are very much involved in the local politics of Madhya Pradesh? Mm -hmm. Are you telling me Narendra Singh Tomar has no say, Kailash Vijayvargya has no say? Are you saying that uh, leaders like Gajendra Shekhawat and others uh, have no say in Rajasthan politics? So they are important local faces. That's why they have been elected. And as mm -hmm. far as uh, the 2018 mandate is concerned, in Congress party ran a government for 15 months. I have listed out achievements of my government. Why doesn't Mr. Ajay Kumar tell us five achievements of his 15 months government under Mr. Kamal Nath? In fact, Mr. Kamal Nath says that I will go with Hindu Rashtra and call mm -hmm. Swami Direndra here. Digvijay Singh is taking a contradictory line and saying that there should be a uh, person should resign from politics if he talks about Hindu Rashtra. In Rajasthan, they go and book the same Swami and in their alliance, people are saying all kinds of statements against Hinduism and Sanat Dharma, so Kamala tells them that you in Bhopal, I don't want this India alliance happening or this India alliance rally happening in my Bhopal. So this is the kind of confusion they have. Can I, the, so can I just take Ajay your... Kumar tell us what are the 15 achievements that his government has achieved? You know, in, in a way, uh, Ajay Kumar, uh, to take off from what Mr. Punawala says, the, the flip side is that while the BJP may be putting all its eggs at one level, it's still in Prime Minister Modi's basket. The Congress seems to have outsourced its politics to the state leaders. That essentially you're relying now, as you did in Karnataka with Siddharamaya and Shiva Kumar, even in, in Madhya Pradesh with Kamal Nath and Digvijay Singh, with Mr. Gelot to some extent, with Sachin Pilot, but local leaders nevertheless. Have you all decided that your party high command, unlike the BJP's high command, should stay away from state elections? So there are a couple of things. Let me disabuse uh, Shahzad to your couple No, no, first answer this question, then I'll come to no, Shahzad. First, no, 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 one second, one second. That's the, I can't let him keep okay, go ahead. papers. Oh, yeah, yeah, first, yeah. If it's 80 crore people are depending on free ration, but Shahzad Punawala says that we are, you know, marching into the 21st century, which is quite a joke. They keep talking about GDP growth rate, but don't say that the per capita is 145. I can't keep going on on this date. And then, then they want to know what Mr. Kamal Nath did in 18 months' time. They First of all, they used the most dirty politics, broke money. We waived off 27 lakh farmers' loan in 18 months, sir. Free power to all the farmers in Madhya Pradesh, sir. You didn't do anything in the past 9, 15 odd years, but that's not... I just gave you two examples. Keep, uh, keep doing it. That's 18 months. In Karnataka... We have done all the promises except one, which is the, which is the uh, support to the uh, uh, students, which will happen in January, and power to the Congress party. The third issue, it is a good jugal bandi of the national leadership. You see Mr. Kharge, you see Mr. Rao Gandhi. 
wherever the Bharat Jodo Yatra went through in Karnataka, which was the election. But the problem is, when, when democracy should be collective, mm -hmm. and where a tyrant or an autocrat is, goes against the, against the grain of what a Westminsterian model of you know parliamentary elections should be, we must be proud that we have strong state leaders. They don't even want to show Raman Singh. No, but isn't, isn't that but... ironical that for the longest time, for the longest time, Amitabh Tiwari, the Congress was in exactly the position the BJP is, is in. Certainly during the Indira Gandhi period, all their eggs were in Indira Gandhi's basket and state leaders were downsized. Now it seems the Congress is flipping it on its head and saying, let's rely on the state leaders because we've got a weakened high command. Do you go along with that? And is there a recipe in a way or something, a lesson that the BJP could learn from what happened to the Congress as a result of undermining state leaders? Yeah, so BJP is the new Congress in many ways in the sense that there is a large centralization of power in the hands of Prime Minister Modi. And why not be? it be? Because... One out of every three voter is voting for the BJP because of PM Modi. The India Today Sea Voter Mood of the Nation says that 44% people are likely to vote for the BJP because of Modi. But so that's, in that's in a yeah. general election. That's in a general election as correct. opposed to a state election. Correct. Correct. So, so, so in, from 2014 to 19, mm -hmm. in all states where BJP was in opposition, they have projected Modi as the super CM under whose guidance the local CM would work. And they have won many states, Maharashtra, Jharkhand, Haryana, Assam, Uttarakhand, UP, Himachal. Mm -hmm. After this cycle of winning states, which is 2019 to 23 or 24, now the BJP is in power in, in most of these states. When uh, the party is in power, the voters cannot ignore the performance of the local chief minister. Mm -hmm. That is why we see losses in Himachal or Karnataka or even Jharkhand. So that is where the, Mo the Modi factor has not worked, where the BJP is in power in states, whereas it has worked where the BJP was largely in opposition, relying on the Modi factor. And the congressization of the BJP, what it has done is also that it is not left with many state leaders to project against the likes of Gehloth or a Baghel or a KCR. You know, so that in a way is a trap for the BJP, as you've said. You know, in, in a way, of course, two exceptions to this are Assam, where the BJP has won two consecutive elections, Uttar Pradesh, where they've done remarkably well again in two consecutive elections, and uh, to, of course to Gujarat, the Prime Minister's home state. But it leads me to ask this question, and I have two uh, people who track numbers very closely in uh, Sanjay Kumar and Sandeep Shastri. You take this. Does India vote very differently in state and general elections?